Hey there. Got a cool video for you today. We're going to do a video on some clubs I picked up from the 70s from my favorite store, Goodwill. We're going to compare them from the technology to today. Uh, my clubs are only about a year old now, so it's going to be a pretty good test. I'm going to play the front nine at Woodruff, which is about a little under 2,900 yards, but it's only a par 34, no par 5s, a couple 200-yard par 3s, a couple uphill par 4s in the 380 to 390 range. Uh, those are the longer holes, and there's some shorter holes that are three, couple 300-yard par, par 4s and one that's 260-yard par 4. So it's going to be a pretty good test. Uh, we'll see how the old clubs stack up with the new clubs. Uh, the irons are from the mid 70s. I got a, some some persimmon wood driver, five wood and seven wood, and also a putter that's probably from the early 70s. So we'll see how it stacks up after we play. Uh, we'll also do a test on the sky track and look at the numbers and see how those work out. So in any event. Let's get to it. I'm to go, just play 13. Need to palm my way in. Gotta hit more greens. My game's obscene now. Hooks and big fades, it's not my day now. Why did I play now? That ball felt really good. Really good current driver I've got 130 in and uh, with persimmon wood driver I've got 145 so I hit my driver 15 yards further and it's just the first tee shot but I hit them both good and I always say is that the more club head speed you have the better for taking advantage of the new technology I always said I don't have a lot of club head speed so I don't pick up get a lot of uh, distance from the new technology but I got 145 in which to me right now would be probably like a probably a pretty hard eight iron I don't know how far these irons go so I'm gonna hit a six we'll see what happens and uh, hit it okay but we're gonna have to bump it up even more so let's go Pretty good. Didn't even bother to get the range finder here. I'm at least 190 from that pin. So all I got is this uh, five wood here. So we'll see what we got. That felt really, really good. I can't hit it any better than that one. Let's see if we get it up there. Good leg putt. Trying to beat the darkness. This one's kind of interesting because I hit the old club a lot better than I hit my new club. 
but my new club still went 20 yards further. So I got 102, and I'm just gonna hit a full pitching wedge. I don't know how far it goes, so we'll hit that. I think some of the differences in performance is starting to show up here. I made not a very bad swing back there off that tee, but the ball flight was horrific. But the miss hits seem to be going straight too, which is, is kind of what's a surprise to me. A pretty decent shot with my new driver was had to be 45 yards ahead of that other shot with the, the old driver. And then I just hit a five wood here, pretty good. I was probably 200 yards out and um, I may hit it 160 yards up this hill. So this is where the difference is starting to show up. I can understand why people like to stick to old clubs sometimes because these things don't feel too bad. Actually, it's completely dark out here now, so I'm definitely going to play the last two holes and report how I did. I was about 185 from that pin. The XL is left fringe, probably about five yards past the pin. The power belt driver is on the back of the green. I'm not sure how far it rolled. I'll check for a ball mark, but um, probably went uh, 205. Okay. Just finished nine holes with the PGA Par Excellence Irons Power Built Citation Woods Northwestern Turf Glider uh, Seven Wood with the with the rails signature putter. The results weren't that much different uh, score wise. I bogeyed the fourth hole with both sets, my old set and my new set. Uh, with the old set, I bogeyed the ninth hole. Okay, so I shot 35 with the new set, 36 with the old set. So score-wise, obviously it's just a shot. You think, oh, what's the difference here? I had 13 putts with the old set. We're able to save par from some like kind of longer, longer chip shots, chip and run shots. Some of the longer holes, like five. Five is only 379 yards, but it's uphill. I don't hit the ball very far anyway with the old set and it left me 200 
plus into this green and there's no way that I could reach that green uphill with that five wood. I hit a really good shot, good five wood, and I still had a long pitch, but I was able to get up and down, up and down there. The miss hits, except outside of the second hole, all the miss hits went pretty straight. The putter was the hardest thing for me to get used to in that set. It was it was super light. It almost felt like I had to hit the ball towards the toe. I don't know if that's where the sweet spot on that thing is, but if I hit it near the center of the putter, undoubtedly I was hitting the putts left. Now that could be my stroke too. The results are only a shot difference, but there's a huge difference in the performance of these two sets of clubs. So what I'm gonna do next on the sky track, get some numbers and we can see the difference between the clubs. So let's take a look. Clear my head, get back in this. Got an outside shot, you still can win this. You run off birdies before, why not now? It's just the game now, let's show them how it's done. You're Mr. KB. Respect on your name is deserved when you're playing the game that you played from yay high. I'ma write my names in the books and play now. Raj told me have fun, so I'ma do it. King, he the high, let it fly, shoulda knew it. Split the fairy with a clear shot in, knock it close. Still got a chance to win. 